Right now, investigators are trying to figure out what caused the fire at Traybrook Apartments. The fire started just before 9 this morning. On your side, Adriana Hargrove joins us live tonight from the scene. Adriana, what's going on out there now and how are those residents being affected? Ken and Angie Cruz are still on scene behind me, making sure the fire is under control. But residents tell me they describe this morning as chaotic and intense. Austin Nichols lives at Traybrook Apartments. He returned home from walking his dog and was startled by what he saw. I started to hear a lot of commotion outside. I, you know, I that's kind of heard some screaming I, and people like being really frantic. And I opened the door, and as I opened my door, I could see on the back of the apartment complex just smoke billowing up. Another resident says although her apartment wasn't directly affected, she's helping those whose apartments were damaged. I had multiple classmates that were in this building and have been affected by this, so we're working now to just make sure that they have the resources they need and everything. Oh, it's tough. You never want to see anyone going through this, let alone, of course, people that you care about. Some residents say their pets were either rescued or injured in the flames. Aaron Sharp also lives at Traybrook. He rescued both his dogs and his neighbor's dogs from the fire. I ran to the firefighters and I was like, um, you know, there's another dog inside. Um, you you got to get this dog. She, she loves her dog. We all love our dogs, you know. So um, I think they went and busted down the door and got her out. Sharp describes the moment he was reunited with his neighbor after saving her dog. I saw her uh, up front and um, she was, you know, deeply uh, grateful. I hugged her. She cried. I cried. <laughs> It was, it was, it was beautiful. Now, officials say one resident and one firefighter was taken to ECU Health for evaluation. The NC State Bureau of Investigation will be investigating the cause of the fire. Stay tuned to WNCT for more updates as they become available. Live in Greenville, Adriana Hargrove, 9 on your side. Adriana, thank you.